welcome to Tea with Jan. Today I am so excited to talk to you guys about all of my square plates. Um, as you guys know, I do love lots of antique Ainsley teacups in the color turquoise and a variety of patterns and styles and everything, but I also love collecting square plates. I don't know why, but there is something about a square plate that I just adore. So if you want to sit back, relax, and I will show you all my square plates in my collection. Starting off with this one here, which I uh, is the same yellowy orange, kind of like a school bus, uh, that is very reminiscent of the kindness teacup uh, and saucers and, and the collection that I have from Ainsley. Um, it is not the same one though. You can see on the back, Ainsley, but it is a different number. Uh, it also doesn't have the black and white, or the, yeah, the black and white around this, the edges. But it is an amazing color. I love these. Um, some of them have a little bit too much crazing in them and stuff, but um, I do really enjoy using them for like desserts or like little finger sandwiches and stuff like that. They're so cute. Right. Ooh. Next up we have a Royal Albert Foxglove. These are foxglove flowers. They're so beautiful. This one kind of has some rounded, but I still put it in my squarish collection. A lot of them are that kind of round bit, but such a beautiful, beautiful collection. one here is just simple. Let's see. Alfred Meakin, England, Frida. So pretty. I'd love to know if you guys collect anything like this. I love this gold. Let's see who this one is. Ambassador Ware, England. But just that flowers on the inside. So beautiful. This one here, I just, it's a stunner. I really like that vibrant, almost like a Kelly green. The flowers again, and then the gold. So beautiful. Simpsons Ambassador. I don't usually dive too far into these other than just I like them or I don't and that's when I end up buying them. Moyet. see that a few other times. Johnson and Brothers. Is it Johnson? Johnson Brothers. I don't know why. I always put Anne's in. Oh, this one here is like a, um, what is that called? Like, you know, a collector's thing. Canada from sea to sea. Centennial 1867 to 1967. Nelson. And look at the details on the edge. Got some pears with that roping. And these grapes to go with them in a, a beige instead of the blue.
back into some flower love. This one has seen some better days. Let's see if I can show you guys. It's your stain. There's quite a bit of crazy in there. But still really pretty. Look at that crazy. Wow. Another floral. This rope seems to be very popular. So pretty though. There's another one that looks souvenir-y. Some ships. in here. Lord Nelson Pottery. Flowers. Look, look, look at all the decorative. Just really pretty. So beautiful. And I love mix matching these. This was so fun uh, at our wedding and different events and stuff. We would just stock these up. This one here has definitely seen better days. So you can see that the stains all got into the crazing. Sometimes when I see these uh, square plates, I just can't pass them up. And sometimes it's like there's a lot of grime on them and you can't tell what it's going to be like until you get them home and you wash them. And then you're like, ugh. <laughs> but I mean, it's still, I still want to love it. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely had a life. Look at this one. Ooh, just so beautiful. I love the orange flowers, like um, these squares, such an interesting um, pattern. has a bit of a stain too. Another one, uh, like one of those commemorative plates. So, has some staining though. Has a, a very big crack through it. Still so pretty though. Very nice scene. Shelly. Look at this one. So pretty. I like these pinks. And then like how the cloud is like, ah, oh, just in the sky. So beautiful. A lot of crazing on the back of this one. Again, Shelly. And actually you can see the crazing on the front too. So that's all those little marks. Can you look really close? I can get it to shine properly. There you go. Look at how beautiful this one is. So pretty. I like the uh, design. The pink with the lace. Just gorgeous. Here. Look at that. So pretty. I love, love, love those flowers. The daffodils and stuff. Wow. It's gorgeous. This one isn't so much a square plate, more like a cake plate. I would suggest where it's divoted in like that has the handles. This should be a Shelly. Rosebud. So 
so cute. These ones are bigger. I have two of them actually. Um, so they they sit with my plates, but uh, I wouldn't use them as like a dessert or a salad plate or anything like that. These are big enough to be plates for people to eat off of. And then we have this lovely one. Look at all those flowers. So beautiful. Is this like a tulip? So fun. And again, that rope design on the side. So lovely. I think my favorite one has always been this one. It's so vibrant. It's just spectacular. I really, really love it. Um, I would love to know which one is your guys' favorite. Do you guys like square plates? Um, you know, matching a square plate with a teacup and having your tea that way is always so fun. Or I think it is. I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys down there. Until next time, take care. Bye!